Continuing on in our Adobe Illustrator series on what does this tool do, I will go over the eraser, scissors, and knife tool for you and talk a little bit about possible best scenarios for use of each tool. So let's take a look at just the basic functions of each of the tools. They are located here in the toolbar. Erasers, scissor, and knife are grouped together. Now the eraser tool behaves like you might expect. It just kind of cuts a path through things. Um, but it, it does do something a little bit interesting. If I click and drag the eraser through a shape, it cuts a path indeed, but it also replaces that path area um, with the stroke of the original object. Now if we had an object on the stage that does not have a stroke applied to it, let's see what happens. So I'm going to remove the stroke there and then apply my eraser tool and it does not apply a stroke. So it maintains the characteristics of the original object. I'm going to undo those last activities that I just completed and I'm going to show you a little bit of a difference between the eraser tool and the path eraser tool. The path eraser tool erases just the path of a selected item on the artboard. So I've got this item selected and now if I erase by clicking and dragging, I can erase bits of my path. But it also is taking away from, taking away or taking bytes out of the object as I go. So it's a little bit different. Sometimes path is, is more effective if you just have just an item or just a section that you want to take away. Back to the eraser tool, I can change the size of my eraser by using the open and close bracket keys on my keyboard. The open bracket key on the keyboard makes the eraser smaller, therefore the path that I erase would be smaller. And the closed bracket key makes the eraser size larger and therefore the path that I create through the object larger. Moving on to the scissors tool, the scissors tool um, tries to emulate what might happen if you're a little kid playing with scissors and paper and you can actually cut little places off. But look what happens if I don't click on an endpoint to begin. You get this warning. Please use the scissors tool on a segment or an anchor point. So I click OK. So here is an anchor point and I just want to cut a section out of this polygon, I can do that. Now what's interesting too is that uh, if I now select this section, it's kind of divided the polygon into sections that I could then delete as needed. The scissors tool is different, I'm going to back up a few steps, in contrast to the knife tool. Then the knife tool lets me click and drag and cut a swatch or a path through a polygon or the object on the artboard but it now divides it into two different sections but similar to the eraser tool it adds a path if that was the original nature of the object on the artboard. What happens with the knife tool if I have an object on the artboard that is not containing a stroke? Well, let's take a look here. Here's an object. Let's remove the stroke. And now let's see what the knife tool does. It still divides it in two, but again, it maintains the original format or the original makeup of that object on the artboard. So that's what these tools do. Where might I use them? Well, I might be tempted to use the knife tool. In fact, I do use the knife tool more often. Often I need to break things apart that I've drawn to create other shapes 
rotate things around. So I can see the shapes that I want to get to in my mind, but it requires that I, I cut them in half. And so I use the knife tool quite regularly because I like to maintain the original format of the thing that I've drawn on the artboard. However, I can see the scissors coming in very handy if, for example, let's say I had a character on the stage and I needed to add an appendage, so maybe I drew a wing or a hand to the character on the stage and then I wanted the attachment point to actually, um, actually get rid of the you know, some characteristic, some line or something so that it looked like the color in the background flowed in with the color of the appendage that I was adding. So I can see that the scissors tool would come in handy in that case. Um, but scissors tool can behave, a, you know, is a little bit similar to the path eraser tool. And it just takes a little bit of experimentation with both and seeing how they behave and determining what might be the best tool solution for you depending on depending on the problem that needs to be solved in that moment and this concludes this quick introduction to the eraser scissors and knife tools